Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. Plane tickets, hotel rooms, and global escape plans for people like Edward Snowden. It all cost money. We're trying to help in, in the limited ways that we can. Yet the numbers from WikiLeaks suggest a rapidly dwindling supply of cash. Their records show they took in $43,000 in the first half of last year, but spent nearly eight times as much. So some supporters like John Perry Barlow have set up their own websites to funnel funds to WikiLeaks. He says he sent $120,000 so far. I care about it for the same reason that I would care about the New York Times. Uh, I care about making sure that, that uh, the press is free to report on what goes on inside a government that I pay for and participate in. WikiLeaks financial problems are no accident. Leader Julian Assange has railed against Visa, MasterCard, PayPal and others for refusing to process donations from online supporters. How much? Unknown. But WikiLeaks says in 2010, $1.7 million poured in. Political players have suggested the money companies are right to turn away, considering the allegations of illegal activity. What WikiLeaks has done amounts to espionage. But WikiLeaks says the banking blockade is revenge for the release of sensitive documents about the U.S. military, Guantanamo, diplomatic efforts, and surveillance programs. Their website blames senior right-wing politicians for a financial vendetta, for even making assassination calls against WikiLeaks staff. I asked President Obama to do the right thing. The United States must renounce. It's witch hunt against WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks undeniably has fervent fans, many small donors willing to give the group money and has had success clearing a path for them. Just two months ago, the Supreme Court in Iceland ordered a financial company there called Valator, which has ties to Visa and MasterCard, to stop blocking donations. WikiLeaks celebrated and tweeted, we send out a warning to the other companies involved in this blockade. You're next. But for now, against a sea of powerful opponents, WikiLeaks seems in a desperate hunt for funding with which to fight back. Tom Foreman, CNN, Washington.